The former Sandoval County Sheriff's deputy who survived a shootout with a fugitive killer two years ago is now suing her bosses. Teresa Moriarty claims that what they did and what they failed to do caused her lasting injuries and caused the death of her partner. Here's News 13's Kim Vias. On July 16, 2009, in this cabin in the Hemis Mountains, an undercover operation went terribly wrong. Sergeant Joe Harris and Deputy Teresa Moriarty were supposed to capture the cookie bandit, a man who had been breaking into cabins for more than a decade. Sergeant Joe Harris and the suspect were shot to death. That suspect was later identified as Joseph Burgess, wanted for the murders of a young couple in Canada and suspected in the killing of a couple in California. She really wants the truth about what happened um, during this uh, tragic event to come to light. Moriarty has now filed a lawsuit against the former sheriff, undersheriff and captain, alleging they are responsible by sending her and Harris into the operation blind. In to a situation without adequate preparation, uh, without the adequate tools, and without the information that they should have had. The vital information withheld, according to Moriarty, the cookie bandit's violent past. There were reports that he had stolen guns from cabins, had pulled a gun on a fire chief, had shot at a deputy, and may be responsible for the murder of a local camper. Moriarty also claims she, as a school resource officer, was not qualified for this operation. The training that she received um, was limited. She was never given the full course of training that she would have needed to be sent into a situation like this. And Moriarty claims her boss's new cell phone and radio communication in that area was sketchy, but didn't provide a better option. She says it took half an hour to reach dispatch for help after Harris was shot. She also claims the operation was kept a secret and no backup was provided. She even alleges Captain Morrison intentionally sent state police on a wild goose chase of the cookie bandit in Cuba that night so that Sandoval County could get credit if he was apprehended. Moriarty's attorney says after much consideration, Moriarty decided the lawsuit is necessary. Of course, she'll open herself up to criticism and challenge, and um, she has decided that it's important that this see the light of day. Kim Vias, KRQE News 13. Former Sheriff John Paul Trujillo told us today he would love to respond to Deputy Moriarty's claims, but his lawyer told him not to talk.